What's going on guys? I am here in Madrid, Spain. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a minute here since I've uploaded, but I'm back with some travel content finally. I made a trip over to Madrid and I'm excited to be here. I'm gonna be here a few days. Today I just landed, woke up after a long trip to Madrid. So today's video is gonna be short and we're gonna start off here in the Lavapié neighborhood at the uh, Mercado de San Fernando. We're gonna go in there and explore a little bit, see what it's like, and maybe try some uh, local beer and some tapas or something along those lines. So let's go in. As soon as I opened the door, I could tell this place was packed by the noise of the crowd in there. I was a bit surprised simply because we're still in a pandemic and as of January 2022, Spain had really strict mask mandates that even required people to walk around outdoors with them. Anyway, as I walked around to check out the place, I noticed that there were plenty of bars and vendors selling food, wine, beer, and sangria, among other things, obviously. Uh, the place was definitely a local's place. Every stall had people hanging out, snacking and drinking, hanging out with friends, just chatting it up and listening to music. Definitely a good time in there. But I was having a hard time finding a place to sit down and eat until I came across Mr. Ramon, who is the manager of Edu's Corner, and he actually demanded to be on camera. So here he is. ¿Qué estamos con el señor Ramón en su local? Hola, ¿qué tal? Madrid, ¿cómo estáis? Estamos en el mercado de San Fernando, eh, Embajadores 41, y tenemos aquí un macro bar de lo más bonito del mundo, con tapas muy madrileñas, muy andaluzas y muy españolas. Os esperamos a todos. Gran variación de cervezas y vinos de nuestra casa. Y la sonrisa la regalamos. <risa> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias a usted. Esta es cerveza madrileña. Sí. ¿Sí? So he just finished cutting up the Ramon Serrano and we're gonna have it here with a piece, two pieces of bread, the, the tuna salad, uh, with fresh tuna is delicious and a nice Cibeles beer, which is local beer here from Madrid. Cheers. Muy madrileño. Muy madrileño. Good Mmm, so This is tomate Andalucía, and this is just cheese and bread. I'm not sure what kind of cheese. And this is not jamón serrano. This is jamón re, re, recebo. Jamón recebo, the one that he just cut. The food and beer were delicious. The service was great. Ramon even did a little flamenco for us. Everybody was just really nice to us. And some of the locals even joked around with us as well. All right guys, so that was El Mercado de San Fernando. It's an old market here in Madrid. And it's been open since 1944. And it's a great local vibe in there. A lot of fresh food, wine, craft beer, plenty of stalls to pick from. Uh, if you come during the day and stuff like that, you can also pick up like a lot of produce, fresh produce and stuff like that. But uh, I wanna just say hi to Ramon. He was extremely nice, uh, took really good care of us there. His little stall that we were at is called Edu's Corner. I'll put it here because I don't know if you guys can really understand me because of my mask. But um, yeah, very lively, really good local vibe and I really enjoyed that. We got to try seven different plates he just kept bringing them uh you know the, the chorizo the sausage the ham we had the uh tuna salad bread uh, nice local vibe really good time everybody in there seemed to be really friendly with us as well and uh yeah so we're just enjoying it this is again a short vlog tonight because i just got here but i think we're gonna do a little sightseeing we're gonna go to the plaza mayor to go check it out here at nighttime, and uh we'll kind of improvise so I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of Madrid tonight. Let's go. So 
just walking around on our way to Plaza Mayor. Pretty cool vibe so far of Madrid. Good first impressions. So there's a lot of cool old looking streets in this neighborhood. A lot of cool little alleys and streets. A lot of street art. And then there's a lot of graffiti too. So uh, all look, looks really nice though. It's got its own, own vibe definitely. All right, Julie, what are your uh, first impressions of Madrid? So far, uh, everybody's really friendly. Yeah. Nice, helpful, give good like tips on places to eat and things to see. So, so far, uh, I what, really what, like it. Yeah, what about the, the market we just went to? R very nice. That was friendly cool. That was service, cool, yeah. good uh, tapas, uh, a really nice vibe too. Yeah. I liked it. They got a Five Guys over here. Didn't know. Didn't know they were international. But don't come to Madrid to eat at Five Guys. <laughs> so right here at the entrance of uh, Plaza Mayor is the actual uh, Seoul neighborhood. And they got this nice area here full of restaurants and bars to eat at, outdoor eating. And uh, I mean, it's, it's January and it's not too bad. I haven't checked the actual temperature right now, but uh, very doable at this time. It's about 10 p.m. and so here we are in Plaza Mayor. Check it out. So just also a reminder, this is a very tourist, touristy area. So keep that in mind. The prices are probably going to be a lot expensive in this area to eat. But I uh, just want to make you aware of that right behind me we have the statue of King Philip III and this plaza is massive, it's beautiful and um, yeah it's just a nice place to come check out and do some sightseeing, very historical place. So this plaza actually dates back to the 15th century, it used to be called Plaza del Arrabal I believe and also they used to do like public executions here at the plaza and bull runs among other things but today Let's come out here, walk around, do some shopping, eat at restaurants and hang out. Uh, yeah, I will come back during the day to check it out. Obviously, I'm just doing some sightseeing here today on my first night in Madrid. So we actually made a stop here at Encopa del Balón. It's right here at the Plaza Mayor because Julie wanted to try the bocadillo de calamari calamari sandwich. Told her to wait till tomorrow, but she wants to try it tonight, so I'm gonna have some tiramisu. Um, this is pretty good. Let's cut it. Ella, you didn't say that? What? All about. <laughs> Talk to me, be honest. It's good, but... It's not in the... It's not like, wow. Mm -hmm. The squid isn't like real crunchy. It's kind of chewy. So you don't like it like that? Mm, I don't mind it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to try this somewhere else to compare it. Yeah, that, that, remember I told her not to try it here? So, I was unable to keep showing you guys the rest of the night because my files, I had some issues with my files and they won't play, so I couldn't uh, really show you more of my evening there in Madrid. This is my first night in Madrid, guys. Stay tuned, I have plenty more coming your way from my trip, more travel content. But yeah, don't recommend you guys eat at that place. The service was pretty bad, uh, and that sandwich made my wife really sick. So I uh, don't recommend eating there anyways because it's more of a tourist trap. Unless you wanna sit down and have like an appetizer or a dessert drink or something like that. Enjoy the view people watch, uh, mainly during the day or in the, earlier in the evening, maybe it's worth it. 
but um, yeah, the prices are pretty high in that area also. So just keep that in mind. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, my travel content again. I'm trying to come back with more of that on this channel. So stay tuned for more of that. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Likes are appreciated and they help me out. Stay safe, guys. See you later.